Hi there, just a bit of an impromptu one. You can see it's late at night, up there, local time, 1.56 a.m. And uh, the important part is the GPS time is Thursday, the date. Um, so because I'm in Australia, we're 10 hours ahead of the GPS time. And this is uh, the first time the day has been different, the day of the week. Uh, since I've implemented this calendar code into the clock. So I should see a different day and date uh, after being corrected. Uh, so yeah, I've got an amplifier, pimped it out. And it's already got noise even though the thing's off. Uh, this isn't shielded, I made this back in the Sony PSP days when that was a thing. And this is a uh, probably a poor attempt at impedance matching and uh, DC blocking capacitors. So let's see how this goes. It's got sound all the way through the menus and stuff. So I should see the 23rd of the 12th when we get a date. There we go. We don't need a position fix for a date, but we do for it to show us the day, which should be Friday. So I guess this is the part I fast forward. And of course, exit. exit out of that and go back in because the time was already coming from the GPS. Here we go. One fifty nine two hundred. Yep. Ah, it's lost its position fix, but saw it for a second there. There we go. And it's no good having a plus 10 time zone offset hard coded, so the next obvious thing it needs is a configuration file, which I've written uh, before the thing even knows how to read it. Uh, but that'll have the time zone offset in it there. Um, so I'll get to that. <laughs> 